Well, maybe third time's a charm. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me for another figure review. That's right folks, I love to torture myself with these figures and that's exactly what we're going to do. So we've already done Rocky, we've already done Clubber, might as well cap it off and do Ivan Drago. So I've got the Star Ace Toys Ivan Drago Deluxe Edition in the house. So we're going to open this one up, we're going to see if they've made improvements from the Rocky to the Clubber. Hopefully on to this, so maybe we get might get lucky. Third time's a charm, let's see. So, however though, before we dive into this, I just wanna give a quick thank you to our sponsor for this video. Bits and buttons, guys. Bits and buttons, creating memories one toy at a time. The link is in the description below for the website. Make sure you check this out if you're interested. If not, there are plenty of other items on the website for you to purchase. And be sure to use the code Seth Bayer at checkout to save yourself 10%. So I will leave the link in the description below for bits and buttons, and that's what they do, creating memories one toy at a time. So again, thanks to our good friends over at Bits and Buttons. But without further ado, let's go ahead, let's take a look at the box, and then we'll dive into the accessories. All right, guys, and here is a look at the box. You've got the Rocky logo at the top. You've got the Rocky Star Ace Ivan Drago, and it says SA0138 Deluxe Version. It says My Favorite Movie Series, Ivan Drago, one six scale collectible figure, and then we get that product shot of Drago right on the front. And then if we want to go ahead and turn it to the side, it says we've got Rocky IV right there, Ivan Drago, and then on the back, it just has a bunch of the normal product information on there, choking hazard for small parts for kids of three years old, but this is not a collectible for children that are three years old. And if you're giving this to a child that's three years old, you've got some serious issues or you've got more money than you know what to do with it. <laughs> and then uh, on the same side over here, we got the Rocky IV logo, Ivan Drago. On the top, it says Rocky IV, Ivan Drago. And then on the bottom, it just has the Rocky logo. So I don't know about you guys, but I am super excited to get this unboxed. So let's get this going. All right, guys, let's go ahead now and let's take a look at the accessories. So we've got the quintessential figure stand right here with your crotch grabber. We do have a picture of Ivan Drago on there with the uh, Soviet Union symbol. And of course, you know, there's no text on this one has there's been in the past so this is kind of something that's a little different which is kind of neat um off to the side we get now this is the deluxe version so there's a bunch of stuff that comes with it so bear with me we get set of hands so we get a set of ungloved hands and you can kind of see they're kind of veiny and they got some detail detail to them at least so we get a set of fisted hands we also get a set of open open hands kind of you know nothing special there and then we also get a set of hands that are wrapped up in tape now the cool thing about this is that this is actual fabric tape so it does give it a nice texture and a nice feel to it and it does have that nice added level of detail which is great um, we also get these things. Now, there is an additional outfit that comes with it. So, obviously, right now, as the figure comes, he's in his boxing attire. Um, the other stuff that comes with his training gear, and this is part of the training gear. I believe they slide on the legs and the arms for some purpose. I don't know, but I'm assuming that's what they're for. We also get the training outfit. So, it's just the um, the, I guess, the wife beater tank top. And then you also get the um, the shorts that go along with it. And from the material, it is a nice soft goods material from the other part that I'll bring in. So, cause it's all the same like silk material here, I'll open this up. So here's the tank top you guys could see front and back. And then you get the nice, you know, satin shorts and they're elastic so they can slide on and slide off. Um, the other part of the additional outfit we get is you get these white boxing shoes, which have nice detail weathering in them on there. You got the creases, so they're worn, and the laces, so you get a pair of those. You also get the, um, I guess, the guard for the waist. 
and it says Drago on it because clearly they don't have the rights to like Everlast or any of those other brands that were making this material back in the day. And this is elastic in the back, so it just stretches right over the legs. And again, it's just a protective waist guard. Then you also get this really cool head guard as well, which the detail on this is extremely nice. And again, you put this on because it opens up on the side and just slides right over the head. And then there's like little pegs that just kind of port in to close it once it's on there, like so. So there you go there. So that's cool there. And you got, again, you got the head guard. Then you also get this nice satin soft goods jacket. Now this is what he wore when he fought Rocky. You get a little bit of Velcro there so you could put it on. But again, it's a nice soft satin soft goods coat. And then you got the Soviet Union symbol with the red star or with the star. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the accessories. So again, the deluxe one really has the extra added stuff like this. So yeah, that's that's basically it for for the deluxe stuff. It's just the um the sparring gear really is the extra stuff for the deluxe. So now that we've looked at the accessories, let's go ahead, let's bring the figure in and let's take a look. All right, guys, and here is a look at the figure and first impressions. It's meh, to be honest with you. Um, I kind of look at this and I kind of look at see what happened with the Clever Lang where the neck was extremely long and not proportionate with the body. So he kind of has almost like that giraffe, giraffe vibe going on with it. Um, also the muscle, the musculature structure, um, looks a little off to me only because, you know, in the movie, Ivan Drago was this big roided out monster. And I look at this and I don't get that, that vibe. Like there's lack of definition on the arm, you know, like they could have done a better job at accentuating the the chest and everything and the legs. The legs look like there's really nothing, there's really nothing to the legs. I mean, you could see a little bit of veining and a little bit of definition, but, and, you know, and there's a lack of mus muscles on the back. I just feel like this is not hitting the points. Um, but the shorts, again, very nice, soft, good material. It's cool there on the boxing glove. It says Drago. Um, the boots are really nice, nicely done and painted very well. I would have liked to seen maybe, I don't know, I can't remember if the laces were were red or I think they were white. Um, if they were white and they went with red, I mean, honestly, you could have just painted the laces white instead of copping out, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back and do some research on that. I mean, you definitely got the white on the gloves, so you could have done, could have done that. Um, and again, like I said, the neck is just so freaking long on this that it just, yeah, I, I don't know. The portrait is okay. It could be better. I just, I'm not feeling it. Like I'm not getting the Dolph, the Dolph Lundgren vibe from it. And again, it's like these figures are so much money and it just, they just don't hit. You know, it just doesn't do it for me. It, it just kind of sucks. And being the Rocky fan that I am, it just, it doesn't hit home. Again, there's lack of definition of everything. Again, the neck is too long, just like the clubber was. And I'm going to point this out here just because it's me and you guys might laugh and giggle and call me an idiot for this. But look at what the neck does. The neck goes to the side like that. Like he's like, hey, girlfriend. Hey, girlfriend. Uh-uh. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> so that's how I feel looking looking at that. And yeah, I mean, that's just the neck. But the overall appearance of it, again, the boots, the gloves, and the shorts, and all the accessory, other accessories are great. The figure itself, it just... Um, as far as the articulation goes, the arm goes up, yay high. You do get double jointed elbows, which is nice, which is something you didn't get with the other ones. Um, you know, the torso goes far, goes back. And again, you guys saw the thing with the neck. The neck can go way back. And it's like, if you want to give him that effect, like he's getting punched, 
the head. I wish they would have given like an alternate portrait with this as well too, where it would have been battle damaged. You know, you would have had a cut eye, some bleeding, you know, black and blue eye or something. I, you know, something extra. I think that would have maybe made this a little bit better than how I feel about it. Um, the legs go up yay high. They go back actually pretty far. The knees double jointed. There's no articulate, no toe articulation or anything. You get very to little no pivoting in the ankle. But other than that, again, this is just kind of, it just falls flat, kind of like the others. Like, I really wish someone would pull MGM's license from Star Ace so Star Ace could stop producing these really bad figures. All right, guys. So honest opinion, I think they struck out again. I think we're 0 for 3 with these Star Race Rocky figures. I I just, I don't know why they keep producing them. You know, it's like you figured they would have learned from Rocky. You know, at least, listen, at least I can say the positive. At least this thing doesn't look like it's having a stroke. But, you know, you can get it into some cool poses because of the articulation. The articulation is actually, this is probably out of all three of them so far, this is probably the most articulated one that I've had. Um, again, the neck is just out of control. Hey, girlfriend, what you staring at? Uh-huh. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> so this is how I feel about that. But I mean, and again, I wish they would have given you an alternate portrait to where it would have looked bloodied, you know, battle damaged, you know, black eye, cuts, the works. Um, again, the accessories are really cool. I do like the sparring outfit. I like all the other accessories. I love the wrists that have the tape on them. I think that was a really nice touch. But again, I think everything just kind of falls a little, a little short with this guy for me. So listen, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, you know, if you guys want it firsthand for yourself, again, I'll leave the link in the description below and you can go purchase from Bits and Buttons and you can also use the code Seth Bayer at checkout. And again, that's entirely up to you guys. You know, once you might have it in hand, your opinion might vary from mine. I'm just very nitpicky about this stuff because of how big of a Rocky fan that I am. And, you know, if I'm spending this type of money, I want things to look as close to accurate as possible. I know it's a big ask, but I'm a real stickler for that. So that's just, when it comes to certain things, I draw the line. So, but again, the soft goods, the accessories are good. The overall execution of the portrait and the, the body, meh. But the articulation is great. So that's all I got to say about that. So again, I wish... I just wish, I wish somebody would just take the license away from Star Race toys already and somebody could make a proper Rocky line of six scale figures. That's all I want. I just, it's all I want. It's not too much to ask, but at least this isn't in as an abomination as much as Strokey Balboa was. Again, they've progressively have gotten a little better, but not a lot. But again, they're moving towards the right direction. I think there's just a few things they need to focus on and they might be where they need to be. But until then, we're just going to continue striking out with these. So, yeah, guys. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you on the next figure review. You won't break me.